so the first video um, that was brought on here was really about cholera and how it arrived and it was to give it a background. Um, <clears throat> this one's going to really look at um, Snow and Edwin Chadwick. Um, as I mentioned, Snow himself um, had been based actually at one point in the northeast of England, which a little bit of irony about it because he was based in the, the Newcastle area, uh, the Tyneside area, when Wearside was Sunderland was hit with uh, cholera. So Snow eventually moved down to Soho in London and he opened a doctor's practice there. Um, he specialised studying in breathing, respiration system. Um, and this would be really important when cholera returned to Britain because it meant that he would question miasma, bad air. And he, he even wrote about this in 1849. And as I said before, a lot of the big individuals concerned with this course did communicate their views uh, in the terms of journals, essays, etc. Now, cholera was a constant thorn in the side of the uh, British population and the European population in the 1800s, mid 1800s. And it returned to um, our shores in 1853. And this gave Snow a chance to test his views, his theory that cholera was spread through water and would then reproduce in people's bodies. So in 1854, cholera reached Snow, um, Snow's area of Soho and in about two weeks it killed 550 people. And as we mentioned, Snow looked at maps. He looked at, uh, there was about 13 wells in the area of Soho and he was seeing where the outbreaks were heaviest. And he noticed the cholera basically was around the, the pump situated on Broad Street, now on Broadwick Street in Soho. And this was due to um, an infected baby nappy getting into the water supply, into the well, which supplied the Broad Street area, it basically being emptied in. And he also found that people who worked at the local brewery weren't getting cholera because in those days, people, rather than drink the awful water, which is nothing like the water you would see now, would rather drink the free beer, the free beer, the free ale that they got as one of the perks of the job of working in the brewery. So the pump handle was removed, um, despite the objection again of, of councillors, and the cholera in the area declined. There were criticisms of snow which you can levy, and critics would say, uh, why did some people in Soho stay safe from cholera's, but the others who didn't use the well weren't in this area, had no contact with it, still got it. So there were doubts about Snow's theory. Now another man who was is big for the course, a man called Edwin Chadwick. And Chadwick was a man of Manchester. He was born in, the 1800, in 1800 and he'd studied law in London. Um, Chadwick was, was not rich, he was, from, you know, he was from quite a humble background and he basically raised money for himself by writing essays for the Westminster Review on science and politics and they were read by a lot of people and they were incredi incredibly influential and a man called Jeffrey Be uh, Jeremy Bentham made him like a literary 